Hey, what's happening guys? This is Tato back with another video and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Nitrogen OS ROM based on Android Oreo on Redmi Note 3. So without further ado, let's make it happen. And I took a long vacation. I mean, Durga Pujo Chuti Kata Chilam. So that's that. So let's make it happen. First, you need to go to these websites which are Nitrogen OS XDA thread and OpenGApps.org. In the Nitrogen OS thread, go to testing versions because stable builds are probably Nougat based builds. Download the latest one from here. In OpenGApps.org, select ARM64, 8.0 and Micro or whichever version you want. You need to have an officially unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. As you can see, I am on Linux based on Android Nougat right now. We have 597 subs now. Can you guys just pump it up a little bit? Just hit the red subscribe button and boom, I will be happier. Thank you so much if you have subscribed already to this channel. You are awesome. Now let's switch off the phone and boot into TWRP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. Once you are booted into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, now check cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and the gapps file and swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. On this stage, it was stuck on this screen for like 20 minutes and no reboot system option appeared on the screen. Maybe because I have TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2. As it said installation complete on the bottom. So I had to force restart the device to check if it boots up fine. And it booted up fine, no issues there. The boot animation is cool, isn't it? Now let me set everything up. In the meantime, let's talk what's working and what are the issues here. First of all, I had to restart the device a couple of times. Hell, even I had to remove the SIM tray and put it back in to get the SIMs working. When it starts working, it works like a charm, no issues. Camera is working, fingerprint scanner is working, Google Assistant is working, Vaulty is working fine too. But after you restart your device, you might again need to pull out the SIM tray and put it back in to get the Vaulty working. We have little to no bloatware here as you can see and I guess only FPC fingerprint scanners are working. If you have good X, you need to keep calm and wait for the developer to get on it. And in the personalization settings, there are tons and tons of customizations available. Watch me going through this if you are someone who loves to customize. I guess it's the very first most customizable Android Oreo based custom ROM out for our device right now. In my opinion, it's still in the early stage and it will receive several features and software updates in the coming days. But I would say definitely check this ROM out just see by flashing once if it's your take or not. So that wraps it up for this video guys, hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button if you appreciate my work, it's totally free. Share this video with your friends if you feel it's helpful. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off and I'll see you soon.